In today's Do It Yourself segment, I didn't do this recently, we're talking about something so many of us has to deal with when we go away for a few days. Who's going to water the plants? Yeah, mine just fend for themselves, mm -hmm. which isn't a good idea. Angelica Thornton is live in Northeast Portland to show us how you can keep them alive without having to call a friend or a neighbor. Angelica? Deb and Steve, I brought this in to show you that I, I learned the hard way. I neglected this on a recent trip, but there's a really easy trick to keep your pots watered while you're away. So I like to use these for potted plants because they dry out quickly. About the only thing that needs watering in Lindsay Berman's incredible water-wise garden, these potted plants. And when she goes away, no need to call a neighbor. She makes her own drip irrigation system for free with simple soda pop bottles. So take a serrated knife and just cut off about, you know, two inches of the end of the bottle. So where the label stops. Exactly. After cutting the bottom of the bottle, you'll need to drill a few holes in the cap using a smaller bit. We used 1 16th. The longer you want the water to last, the fewer holes you drill. We drilled two holes in our cap. Make sure the holes aren't clogged and you're drilling on a cutting surface. Screw the cap back on, then pour a few inches of sand into the bottle. The trick is always put a layer of fine sand in the bottom. Don't use dirt, it will clog it up. Pick a sturdy spot in the soil of your thirsty plant and just add water. I like to fill it as close to the top as possible. If I'm gone for a week or several days, I want to make sure that there's plenty of water. You can also buy aqua cones online or at your local nursery. You pop a hole in the side based on the type of soil, fill it with fine sand and screw it onto the pop bottle and it easily anchors into the soil. Whichever type of system you use, be sure to test it out at least a few days before you take off on a trip. If you find the water is draining too quickly, add more sand or you may need a new cap with fewer holes. So you just leave that there? anchored in there and, and that should have a very slow release over time which is exactly what your plants want. And it's a good idea to move your plants into the shade too. Here's another method. You can just use a regular bucket and a long rag as a wick. Fill the bucket with water. Make sure that the rag is hitting the bottom of the bucket and then just bury it into the soil and cover the bucket. And there you go. You can also use these pop bottles in hanging baskets. Those planters that hang from your front porch, just make sure to secure them so they don't fall off and hit the mailman in the head. Stephen Depp? You know, does this mean I don't have to come over and water your plants while you're gone anymore? Angelica? No, I'm, I'm good. I mean, because you saw the job I, I think did. I've learned my lesson. Yeah. Good information. Great. Very, very helpful. Thank you, Angelica, you very bet. much.